Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frederick Dugray. How are you? I'm excellent yourself, Tracy. Well, I'm very I'm looking forward to congratulating you for your big Piedmont deal. That's your your largest deal to date, is it not? That's correct. For this division, actually, it's our largest sales that we have been able to conclude in the, in the whole history of the company so far. So uh, really promising for the future. Well, I'm going to make you tell us who Piedmont is because I could not believe how large this company is. It's quite substantial. Qatar, Australia, uh, Spain. Well, our footprint indeed at Piedmont is, is covering, you know, it's a global market that we're addressing for the desalination market. But it's a very niche and, and specialized products that we're providing for this market. Essentially, what we're doing is that we're designing and manufacturing uh, flexible couplings uh, for the desalination market. Um, we've been using it for, uh, for a long time, and it's a very specialized product for these applications where it's highly corrosive market and it has to resist to high pressure. Um, and yes, our reputation and these large plants have been you know, there for a number of years with Piedmont name. And uh, yeah, we've been able to secure these two large projects for two desalination plants in Qatar. So are you responsible for making this deal, Frederick, or are you going to let us know which member of your team put this together and how long it took? Well, it was done through uh, our help of our new uh, general manager that we have for Piedmont, Simon Bouchard, but also through the help of our uh, distributors of A's um, in actually in, um, in uh, Dubai. So we're dealing with uh, a great rep that is working with us uh, to secure these projects. So it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a common, uh, common effort. And what kind of revenue will we be looking at for as, as we as shareholders for H2O Innovation? Well, you see, typically, I mean, we're, we're not going to disclose strategically uh, because of this information that we do not want to let the competitor know exactly how we have uh, secured these, uh, these projects and the value of these projects. But figure out that there is 34, 35, almost 35,000 couplings for this uh, projects. And, you know, the price of a coupling on, on typically will vary between this type of couplings between, uh, let's say, $30 to $100 a coupling. So pretty substantial in terms of, of projects that we're going to uh, realize there. Of course, our Investor Intel audience was also very impressed. Recently, you were listed with the HSBC, put out some analysis on top Canadian international companies in the 20 plus million dollars a year uh, category, and you were right at the top of the uh, top of this list. Can you tell us how you were selected for this? Well, they conducted a, st uh, a study actually, and um, and actually through this uh, study, we came out to be um, obviously representative in terms of our activity international uh, export. Uh, we do have a lot of export going into 40 countries, so it makes us pretty unique in terms of Canadian company playing a, a role into the international market. Um, so I guess that we fit exactly into their, uh, their study, but also through the most promising company that they're going after and chasing opportunity with. So. This seems to be the theme that we see with H2O Innovation, a very global market directed company and many people are looking at you right now. I've noticed I've seen you on TV a lot recently. Can you give our investor intel audience who may not be familiar with H2O Innovation a little bit of an overview of what you are presently? Well, H2O Innovation is, is a company that is involved into providing solution for small mid-sized communities and, and uh, providing water treatment solution for desalination, for drinking water, wastewater, water reuse. Um, we do it, you know, the business relies on two pillars. On one end, we have the project business that we conduct mostly in North America, where we design and manufacture systems. And the other portion of our business that represent about 40% of our sales is the specialty products and services. And that's the one that includes the Piedmont couplings, that the one that include the specialty chemicals, and this is where we do most of our exports into these 40 countries that we're talking about. So two strong business line that complement each other uh, in terms of synergies and activities. But uh, yeah, and, and it's a company that um, will be ranging about uh, close to $50 million in turnover this year, profitable, EBITDA positive. So yeah, so far it has been a pretty interesting journey for us. You're unquestionably one of the uh, rising emerging market plays what should we as shareholders anticipate in the next uh, quarter or two? Well, first, executing our backlog uh, in terms of projects. So we have uh, starting the year with a very strong backlog for projects. 
we're currently being exposed to phenomenal opportunities um, for projects. Uh, never seen something like that. So currently with the drought in California, it is opening up uh, for us a number of opportunities that we we're not expecting to some extent. So suddenly, I think we will see the, the backlog increase significantly in the coming months and quarters. Um, for the other portion of the business, well, it's keep, you know, keep executing and preserving our customers that we have internationally recurring, with recurring sales for both chemicals and, and Piedmont. We want to increase the level of recurrency that we have in the business. So again, we have approximately 40% of our, of our project, of our, of our revenues that are being in nature of, of recurrent revenues. So we want to increase that because it, it's, it's paying off a lot of fixed costs in the organization and keep expending. So growth, uh, both for our divisions. And, and also um, uh, keep, keep being profitable and expanding into uh, the U.S. Well, Frederick, thank you so much for the update today. It's a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much, Tracy.